Meanwhile, broken-hearted Tashel walks with her captors. Even when all seemed lost, she hopes Moshel will track her down and rescue her from her predicament. With the full moon due the night after this, tense is the atmosphere in the village with the news of Tashel's fate. Tashel was the charm of the village. With the hope of bringing Tashel back, Moshel follows her track. But he knows he has to hurry, for if she crosses the Ningti River, there is no hope. Ah, a part of his beloved left for him to trace her. He must hurry. Come, O oh my brave prince, dear, show him the way. Her favorite necklace that caresses her tender neck. I'm coming, my dear. He thought of resting for a while, but the sight of her ratai seems to tell him to hurry. Excitement fills his heart at the banks of the Ningti River. He is sure his darling Tashel will be waiting for him here. What have we here? Isn't it her cascading black hair? Oh, my dear, where are you? The sight of the God-forsaken gong adds to his woes. Although the ritualistic last dance is performed, it is done without an air of celebration. <laughs> Poor Kongyai, the shell was the apple of his eyes.
Poor Kongyai, he will never be able to forgive himself. The grief-stricken Mushel, unable to bear the pangs of separation, he is to spend the rest of his life playing the fiddle made out of his darling Tishel's hair. Since then, the fiddle called Tari became an integral part of the Uipos and songs that immortalized the love story of Mushel and Tashel are sung before the harvest is done on the full moon night of Haiching Bong. <laughs> Sankara 